the jungle. What caused me to become more interested in learning about vaccine and vaccine injury was that patients who come to my office, I would say on a weekly basis, have experienced vaccine injury. I consider myself at a position where it is an obligation for me to learn and to research and study both sides. So here at Small Ranch, our philosophy is my baby, my choice, your baby, your choice. Please be informed. And what I find very interesting is that the CDC, with their own internal study, found a causative relationship between an MMR vaccine and autism. However, they covered that up. That's concerning, that's something that we all need to be aware of, and it is fact. Hi, my name's Kim Thiehoff, and I'm here to um, help promote the uh, truth about vaccines. Back in 1980, I was a 22-year-old young mother of a 16-month-old daughter. And on August the 8th of 1980, I had a precious um, second daughter named Kelly Michelle. She was born healthy. We went home from the hospital. And um, through a series of events, I was moving away from her pediatrician. So a couple weeks before her um, two-month birthday, I took her in to get vaccinated. And um, within those two weeks, on September 30th, 1980, she died. I brought her picture, this is her, and I brought her death certificate. The death certificate says that she died from sudden infant death syndrome, and the secondary cause of death is listed as septicemia which means that her system was septic, which means it was overtaken by an infection. The doctor that did the autopsy told me also that she had encephalopathy, which is a swelling of the brain. I knew in my heart that a healthy baby doesn't just quit breathing. But back in 1980, that's the only answer they had for me. And I'm a voracious reader, but there was nothing to read about. There was nothing. So fast forward to um, 2011, my son had his first child and his wife decided not to vaccinate her. And I was surprised and I was cautious, but I also had just purchased my first smartphone and I was introduced to Google. And I began to do a lot of research and study and read and read and read. And I learned the truth about what vaccines did to my daughter. So, um, I don't want anyone else to have to suffer. It took me 35 years to figure out what happened to my daughter. And, Lots of families have been affected. Lots of people were affected by what happened to my daughter. Her dad and I divorced within two years. We were a statistic. The doctor that did the autopsy told us that most parents that lose their child to death are divorced within two years, and we were.